Championship of Under 26. The judges are from France, Cuba, Poland, Wales, and from India. Referee of this ball is from Hungary, Veronica Sous. And now, please welcome for the red corner, representing Kazakhstan, Kairat Piraliya. Kairat Yuraliyev of Kazakhstan is ranked number 18 in the world. He's competing in his third AIBA World Boxing Championships here. And he's already secured himself and assured himself of his best ever finish. He came away with World Championship bronze in Kazakhstan in 2013. Here he has gone at least one better. He's in pursuit of top spot on the podium. His opponent from the USA is just 19 years of age. Duke Reagan, ranked number 21 in the world, comes in here as the reigning continental bronze medalist. And he's marching calmly towards the boxing ring ahead of what is undoubtedly the biggest bout of his life. Kayrat Yuraliev, all of that experience in Aiba Elite Open Boxing. Guaranteed a return to the medal podium, a unanimous point decision winner over the reigning European champion Peter McGrail of England. McGrail in his first world championships lost 30-27 on all five scorecards. Duke Reagan has had a terrific run through to this gold medal bout. Close 4-1 win over Javier Ibanez to get revenge. For the semi-final defeat, he suffered in Tegucigalpa at the America's Continental Championships. And it was a unanimous point decision win over Scotland's Lee McGregor. At the quarter-final, he eliminated the tournament number two seed and fifth place finisher from the Olympic Games, Zhang Jiawei, before a comfortable 5-0 victory over India's Gaurav Baduri at the semi-final stage. As we take a close-up replay, a Kairat Yuraliev, Veronica Souks has sent both boxers back to their respective corners ahead of the opening bell in his 56 kilogram bantamweight bout. So we're underway then. This is the second meeting between these two boxers from Kazakhstan and the USA. The boxer we're in red, operating out of the South Pole stance, is Kairat Yuraliev, the 2013 World Championship bronze medalist, 26 years of age, competing in his third World Boxing Championships. His opponent wearing blue is Duke Reagan from Cincinnati, Ohio, just 19 years of age, ranked number 21 in the world. This is his first appearance at a global championships. And here he is, guaranteed at least a silver. And he wants to come away with top spots on the podium. Fifth bout of the tournament for both of these men. And in their previous encounter, which came earlier this year at the prestigious multinations tournament right here in Germany, the Chemistry Cup in Halle, it was Reagan who prevailed to have what could be a significant edge in this rivalry from a psychological point of view. I think Reagan's had an impressive tournament up to now. I've really liked um, this American's jab. He's got a nice, fast, crisp jab, and that's important in this contest because he has got a terrific right hand, the man in blue, but he's got to set that up. And Uraliev is, is, is one of those type of south pause he sits back he likes to slow the the action down very wide stance sometimes he's a little bit wild with his work so the more direct punches from reagan may do the trick here but Uraliev will want to drag his opponent into a real scrap toe-to-toe -to -toe. just 19 years of age you can even though he's in fantastic physical condition one can only assume that Reagan is still growing into his strength, whereas at 26, Yuraliev probably approaching his physical prime. But despite his tender teenage years, Reagan, a wonderful ring technician. Plenty of thought behind his work, plenty of poise and patience. And he possesses terrific legs to just contract and expand the ring as he likes. Billy Walsh with instructions for Reagan from that blue corner. In his semi-final, Uraliev, against Peter McGrail, he sort of 
made Peter um, hold his feet a little bit, and that's probably how he won the contest. That was a nice shot there from Uraliev. Gumshiel comes out. But when Peter McGrail was actually hitting and moving and moving around him, I thought that Uraliev really had problems coping with the movements of McGrail. Reagan, he's not really a moving boxer, but he's, you know, he's sitting on his back foot, he's using those straight jabs. But I think movement is what you really have struggles against when he gets you to hold your feet and, and, and slow, slow the action down. That sort of suits Uraliev. Left, right, left was an effective combination from Reagan. Reagan targeting the body as Uraliev gets over that front foot and lets a fast-fisted flurry go. And you perhaps saw when that mouthpiece was being reinserted that Reagan still in his orthodontic braces again reinforcing the fact that he is still a teenager and here he is in his first world championships contesting the gold medal bout right hand success from reagan very good round of boxing between two men who know one another from earlier this summer I think a classic case of both boxers not really wanting to make mistakes, so they don't want to come over that front foot too much. Reagan, I thought, worked well with his jab there. It is there, straight right hand also. Ureliev, he likes it on the inside a little bit more, the Kazakhstan boxer. And that's the mouthpiece dislodged from Reagan. I didn't think he was too bad around from the American, but Ureliev, he's dangerous. Good work to the body there from Reagan, but Uraliev have just carried the attack through. So we're into the second round in this battle of reigning national champions, and what a start by both men. Right-hand success for Reagan. After Uraliev got through with a couple of straight shots of his own. Right hand is an effective shot once more for Reagan, but then he's picked off by a southpaw left. Reagan getting onto that front foot, measuring with his jab. Uraliev looking to wait and counter for this particular phase of the second round. Nice defensive work with the arms from Uraliev. Blocking those punches and preventing them from reaching the target area. Reagan working away with his free right hand. Referee Veronica Souks warning Reagan not to stray around the back with his body punches. Long left hook is a good opening shot on the resumption from Uraliev. Again, the more accurate shots are definitely from Reagan because they're more straight. He, but he, he throws better straight punches than Uraliev. Uraliev is a little bit wild with his shot. There's some team to be arcing punches, don't they? And again, they are inaccurate. Bit of sense of urgency from Urelli at the start of this round. He, he, he started to go through the gears a little bit. But um, I, I think Urelli has got to try and drag Reagan into that toe to toe battle. I think Reagan is, is quite happy boxing at distance behind those straight shots, and he's got the more accurate work, the man in blue. Left hand wasn't too far away from Uraliev. Four short there and was countered by a feather light left jab but from the man in blue. I'll tell you what, Ron, you've got to watch what he's doing here, Uraliev. Occasionally he throws this one two and he just stays there a little bit too long. At this level of boxing, you can't make that mistake. That's a fault. He hits with that one two and he's just there for a split second too long. This caliber of opponent, he's going to catch you. There's a good right hand during the course of that exchange from Reagan. Uraliev looking to impose some physicality, shoves his man away, but walked onto a lead left hand from Reagan. That's a solid left from the man in red. But Reagan remaining poised and composed just beyond the pocket. Uraliev swinging wildly, but Reagan making him miss. Didn't make him pay, though. The boxers trading misses during that particular coming together. Look at that big inhalation from Uraliev. And why I mention that, because in the closing stages of his bout against Peter McGrail, Deep into round number three, Uraliev appeared to be feeling the pace. It's the fifth bout for both of these boxers in this tournament, and they have both had runs to the final here, hard runs to the final here. So again, there's plenty of industry coming from Uraliev, but the accuracy 
Oh, isn't backing up the work. He's making some mistakes here, Uraliev. Ural he's, he's getting away with it at the moment, the way he's leaning over. Reagan has got to start using that right uppercut. But yes, he certainly he threw a lot of shots in that round, did Uraliev. But Reagan, for me, better accurate work. So steep into this gold medal bout then. The rally of getting through with the jab there. It's a little bit scrappy. There's that shot, those wild punches thrown from too far away. Inaccurate shots there. Reagan, more crisper, sharper punching. But Uraliev, he's a type of fighter. I think he'd prefer this contest in the telephone box. So we're going to the third and final round between two men contesting their fifth bout here at Hamburg 2017. And both of them have produced seed slaying exploits to get through to this point. Good right hand from Reagan. Juraliev looking to rough his man up on the inside. In his second preliminary round, Juraliev produced a terrific display as the two men bustling away at close quarters trying to target the body. It's becoming increasingly physical. You get the sense that this is where Juraliev wants it. Absolutely, yeah. But can he exploit it? Well, he does want it on the inside. I think Reagan's done the better work at mid and long range, and he's got to get back to that type of boxing. But on the other hand, Yureliev, that's good work from him on the inside. It's scrappy, it's messy, he's getting through with some shots. It's sort of a stalemate, if you like, but he's having more success probably on the inside than he is at long range, Yureliev, because he's not accurate enough at mid and long range. But again, it's in instructive that it's Yuraliev who seems to be keen to initiate the clinch after an initial and after an initial burst of punches on the inside and again in this his fifth contest is he beginning to feel the pace at the midpoint approaching the midpoint of this third and final round loading up on that right hand but missing by some distance was Reagan and again it's another physical tussle causing Reagan to take a knee as he's wrestled to the canvas he's spoken to about that infraction is Yuraliev muscling his man down like that. But they immediately take up a similar type of posture once again. See, that's difficult to judge, isn't it? Um, from the judge's perspective on the inside there. It's scrappy, it's messy. You know, you, you can't go either way there. The referee having a hands full, keeping these two apart as once again they fall into the chest of one another reagan working away with his free right hand Yureliev just trying to tie the man up and not looking to work is he saving himself for a grandstand finish with less than a minute to go here but again this is how he boxed against mcgrail and you see that furtive glance over to the red corner he's, he's, he's got away with it so many times how, how he throws this one two and he launches forward with his left hand and he's leaning over Reagan has just got to show a bit of composure here. Again, he misses wildly, Yuraliev. And I think you're right, Ron, I think he is showing signs of, of fatigue here, the man in red. And he keeps turning sideways as well. Again, referee Veronica Sook's right on him in that regard. He's been spoken to repeatedly about various transgressions. Closing seconds, he'd be unlucky, I suppose, to pick up a, an official warning here. But the 10-second clap has sounded in this third round has been, well, it's been more clinching and wrestling than neat boxing from mid and long range. The Americans corner confident that he has done enough to be declared the world champion. But a very messy encounter indeed for championship gold here in the 56-kilogram bantamweight division. Yeah, I think the more style, stylist boxer, it, it was Reagan. But Yureliev probably did a job in that he, he had to drag him into that toe-to-toe -to -toe battle and it was messy and it was scrappy and it was hard to actually judge, I think. But overall, I think, I think the Americans did enough to win it, but we shall see. That was a terrible last round. The quality wasn't very good at all. But Yureliev, he prefers this type of contest. But there's nothing really clean that's landing, Ron, from both boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by split decision. In the red corner, 
It's your Aliyev. Kirat your Aliyev has claimed world championship gold here by the narrowest of margins. 3 2 on the scorecards over Duke Reagan from the USA, the 19 year old from Cincinnati, Ohio, in his first world boxing championships. Comes away with a fantastic silver medal. No doubt he's disappointed at this stage, but that is plenty to build upon for the American program. Duke you know, Reagan leaves the ring, a little bit crestfallen, but Kayrat Yuraliev in this his third appearance at a World Boxing Championships comes away with his first ever gold, adding to the bronze that he won on home soil in Kazakhstan in 2013. Well, it was scrappy, but he's got it. It's a 3-2 split. One judge had it 30-27 one way, and another judge had it 30-27 totally the opposite way. So you had a judge there who prefers the boxing from Reagan to another judge who prefers that front foot boxing on the inside from Uraliev. I just thought the American did the better work, but it is what it is. 3-2 split. Uraliev just gets it, and... Uh, it, 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 from an English point of view, it's great for Peter McGrail. He's take, taken a world champion to knock him out of the tournament. The guy who's gone on and won the gold. But uh, a scrappy contest, Ron. That was the moment of confirmation. Heyrat Yuraliev of Kazakhstan declared world champion in the 56-kilogram bantamweight division.